அரவணைப்பார் உன்னை ீவன்சாரோல மாஸ் இன்டென்ஷன்ஸ் திஸ் மாஸ் இஸ் பீன் ஆஃப் ஹோல் ஹேஸ் தேங்க்ஸ் கிவிங் மாஸ் by S.J. Shantaraj family, Bennett family, Angelo and family. Let us pray for the special intentions of Sharadine, Tania, Rosemary, Chakko Chan. Let us pray that Bonnie Babu may get good job. Let us also pray for Ashwin Jibya, Bharati Navis for safe journey. Let us pray for the repose of the following souls. MLRDRH TSGMI Thomas Trinika Audrey and also let us pray for the souls that are forgotten and souls that are in the purgatory the training let us begin this holy sacrifice in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. To my mind called, to my heart called, to my own we be able to call. Therefore, I ask that you bless me with your words, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord God. May Almighty God, Have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us, Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us, Lord. Lord, have mercy on us. so merciful god for that you need our weakness that we who keep the memorial of the holy mother of god may with the help of our intercession rise up from our iniquities through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit One God forever and ever. Amen. 
he was looking forward to the city whose designer and builder is God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 1 to 2, 8 to 19. Brethren, faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. For by it, the people of old received their commendation. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith, he went to live in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundations, whose designer and builder is God. By faith, Sarah herself received power to conceive, even when she was past the age, since she considered him faithful who had promised. Therefore, from one man and him as good as dead were born descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as many as the innumerable grains of sand by the seashore. These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. For people who speak thus make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, they would have had opportunity to return. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was in the act of offering up his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac shall your offspring be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm, your response. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel, for he has visited his people. Blessed be the, the Lord, Lord God the God of Israel, Israel for, he for he has, has visited, visited his, his people. people. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets from of old. Response Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord God of Israel, Israel for he has, has visited, visited his people. people. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the land of all who hate us. To show the promise, mercy promised to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. Your response. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord God of Israel, for, for he has visited his people. The oath that he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear to holiness and righteousness before him all our days. Your response. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord God, God of Israel, for, for he, he has visited, visited his people. people. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing alleluia. Sing alleluia. 
Sing alleluia to the Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Sing alleluia to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing I'm reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. On that day, when evening had come, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go across to the other side, and leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they awoke. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked to the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, the church today celebrates the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, the doctor of the church. He is called the prince of all theologians because he has contributed many things, many writings, many theological ideas for the Catholic Church. One of the most important masterpieces are, is, is called Summa Theologia, where it contains of three volumes. He wrote two volumes, and as he was writing the third volume, when he happened to celebrate the Holy Mass, in which he had a vision, a divine vision, a God experience, and this saint, Thomas Aquinas, stopped writing this book. When he was inquired by his own superior, he said to his superior, The knowledge that I have about God is nothing before the experience I had. God experience is greater than all the knowledge that I acquired. And so he stopped. And this is the same saint who wrote Tantum Ergo, the song that we sing during our adorations. Such was the experience of Thomas Aquinas, a great, highly rewarded for his knowledge, for his theology, but still he himself has accepted, acknowledged that God's experience is greater than the knowledge that we have. And so, only by surrendering ourselves to this God experience, we can get the fullness, we can be happy, or 
we can be the God's children. My dear friends, similar to this idea, we see today's gospel. The disciples making a journey with Jesus. This journey, when they started, perhaps they might have not thought that they will meet some tragedy or they will meet some dreadful fear like that we read in today's gospel. All of us make journey. All of us are part of journeying life in this world. There are moments of joy, there are moments of happiness, and similarly, there are moments of sorrow, there are moments of fear in the journey, and also there are moments of silence where we do not get any answer for our suffering, where we do not get any solutions for the problems that we are undergoing. We must we experience the silence of God. My dear friends, the disciples, where many, their profession is fishing. There are, they are fishing, there are fishermen in Jesus' company, and they were on the boat. It is not their first journey that may, they are making into the sea. They are acquainted with the sea. They know the climate, they know the conditions of the sea. And perhaps they might have also met storms like this before when they were fishing. But on that, on that moment, they did not have Jesus on their boat. Whereas when they met, when they met fear, when they met storm, here, we have, here they had Jesus on the boat. The first question that the gospel raises today is, do we have Jesus on our life journey? Do we take Jesus on our life boat when we are traveling? When we have Jesus, we need not to fear. Unlike the disciples, when they saw the storm, when they saw the boats are filling with the water, they cried to the Lord. The Lord was still silent. He was still sleeping just to test the faith of the disciples. Many times we do ask questions to our Lord. Lord, do you not care that we are dying in our own sickness? Lord, do you not care that I am facing problems one after the other? Lord, do you not care that I am suffering because of this illness? We do ask question to our Lord. But the silence of the Lord does not mean that he had forsaken us. The silence of the Lord does not mean that we are helpless. We are helped by our Lord. We are given graces by our Lord. And that is what the faith is. The first reading clearly gives an account of faith. Abraham was called the father of faith. When he was called and when he was asked to leave everything and asked to go towards the promised land, he doesn't know where he is heading towards. The only thing he knows is he was called and he was given a mission and he was to accomplish the mission. And the accompaniment was God was always with him. He believed that all the words of the God will be fulfilled. And he marched towards the promised land. And although he was asked to sacrifice his only son of his old age, and he was there enough to sacrifice Isaac, because he knows God is grateful. God is powerful to raise the dead into life. And so he was able to, he was ready to sacrifice his own son because of his faith in God. Dear friends, we too need to have this faith in God, especially in our troubles, especially in our fearful moments, especially in our uncertainties. In our crisis, we should believe that Jesus is on our side. He is very near to us. And all the more, he gives us the strength to bear the crisis of our life. It is not our own human strength that we are able to bear the sufferings. It is because Jesus is with us. It is because God is on our side that we are able to bear the sufferings of our life. 
first letter in first letter of st paul to corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 we read god is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear god is always with us and he will not allow us to be tested and he will not allow us to be tempted beyond our own capacity god knows our limitations god knows our capacity god knows our strength and he allows us to be tested god doesn't forsake in this testing but he strengthens us do we believe in this words do we believe that god is with us do we believe that god is on our boat and a lord is always with us in this journey and that's where the faith gets strengthened and my dear people on this in this holy mass let us pray to god that our strength our faith may be strengthened that we may be able to carry our own crises our own temptations our own sufferings with the help of our lord let us carry jesus on our life boat and he will bless us amen can we stand to god the father almighty dear brothers and sisters may every prayer of our heart be directed for it is his will that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth with this faith let us place our petitions at his feet through the powerful intercession of our blessed mother let our response be we pray to your lord to our lady of good health we pray to you lord to our lady of good health Let us pray for our Pope, bishops, priests, the religious leaders of a nation, leaders of a community, and the people gathered here, that the Lord may give them the needed wisdom and prudence. Let us pray. We pray to you, Lord, to all of your good help. Grant wisdom to our youth, both boys and girls, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit in choosing the way of life, and they may. generously respond to the call of vocation let us pray we pray to you lord to lady of good health grant health of mind and body to all the people praying this novena and help the sick to regain the health according to your holy will let us pray we pray to you lord to lady of good health grant eternal rest to all the diseased novenites and the souls of the faithful departed let us pray we pray to you lord to lady of good health Let us pause for a while in silence to pray for our own personal needs to our Lady of Good Health. O oh God, our refuge and strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion. Grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith, we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Page eighteen, hymn number forty. Page eighteen. In bread we bring you, Lord, our body's labor, in wine we offer you, our spirits free. We do not ask you, Lord, who is my neighbor. But can you unite in us, one in belief? For we have gladly heard your word, your holy word, and now it has the Lord, our gift we bring. Our selfish hearts we prove, our failing faith renew, our lives belong to you, our Lord and King. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory, the memory of Mother of Your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by Your grace, 
make us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's end, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, through whom the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with this in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord of God and Earth and heaven sing Hosanna in your praise. He is blessed who comes with the name of the Lord. Sing Hosanna in the highest praise the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The crown of all holiness. Make holy day for this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, God in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and George Anthony Sami Archbishop and all the clergy. We remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, a spouse in Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamp of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. We are the Lamb of God. We are the who takes away the sins of the world. The same Jesus is coming into us, into our life, and is telling us do not be afraid. And he is there with us always on our life journey. Happy are those who are called to this banquet of love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul Amen. shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Page 41, hymn number 93. Page 41. I just keep trusting my Lord. As I walk along, I just keep trusting my Lord, and He gives me a song. Though the storm clouds darken the sky, or the heavenly frame, I just keep trusting my Lord, He will never fail. He's a faithful friend, such a faithful friend, I can count on him to the very end. Though the storm clouds darken the sky, or the heavenly train, I just keep trusting the Lord. He will never fail. I just keep trusting my Lord on the narrow way. I just keep trusting my Lord as He leads each day. Though the road is weary and tight and I'm sad and blue, I just keep trusting my Lord, He will see me through. The Novena on page 73. Hail Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the world. 
In our necessities, which deliver us always from all dangers, dangers so glorious, and glorious and blessed Virgin. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Health, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, in Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour for death. Amen. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother Most Lovable, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Health, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, whom Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour for death. Amen. Health of the sick, pray for us. Refuge of sinners, pray for us. Comforter of the afflicted, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Health, pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, whom Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of death. Amen. O Mary, Mother of Good Health, pray for us who have recourse to you. Let us pray. O God, our Father, through the Holy Spirit, you prepared the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to be a fitting dwelling place for your Son. As we recall a motherly protection, grant that through our intercession we may be preserved from evil and given health of soul and body. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Mother of good health, powerful with God, obtain for us these graces. The strength to travel over temptation, the readiness to accept the will of God, a perfect, a perfect love with Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we may live with you and your, your Son forever. Prayer of consecration. O compassionate Mother, consoler and healer of the afflicted, we have gathered here in your abode, in faith and full of confidence in you, our intercessor. We invite your patronage and implore your protection. O Mother, o Mother, against, against all, all the snares and temptations, and temptations of, the of the devil, help us, help us above all things to love, love and live, and live with Jesus. O Most Powerful Mother of our Lord, Lord Jesus, we beseech your, your love and protection for the, for the poor, the, the, the downtrodden, and the orphans. O Most Gracious Mother, who grants all that we ask for without fail, wipe away our tears and sufferings, keep us safe from all the diseases that torment us, Help us in our poverty and hunger. Give us everlasting peace and joy. Lead and guide us to a happy and contented life. Protect us from all dangers and grant us good health in body and mind. Help us all in our spiritual and temporal needs. Despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer our prayers. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us now honor our Mother and commit ourselves to a motherly protection. Hail, Hail Holy Queen, Queen Mother, Mother of Mercy, Mercy. Hail, Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To you do we cry for banishment of me. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn them the most gracious advocate, your eyes are most towards us, and after, and after this, this our exile, show unto us the blessed support of you all, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God, that we may make worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary as the mother, ready at 
every moment to help us. Grant that we who call on our help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask through you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Kindly stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit. But we ask for final blessing. The Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you that he may sustain you, before you that he may lead you, behind you that he may protect you, above you that he may bless you. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Wish you all a good day. Thank you and wish you the same, Father. Page 48, hymn number 114. Page 48. I sing. Our Lady of Good Health. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.